the man on the move. <laughs> hey, everyone. It's Adrian here with Disclosure Fest Foundation. I am standing in front of the world-famous Luxor here in Las Vegas, where we're holding our epic event, Stairway to the Stars, November 10, 11, and 12. And here I got today with me the infamous Stephen Bassett. Hey, Stephen. Thanks for joining me. You're going to be part of this event. Um, yeah, say hi to our audience and tell us a little bit about what you've been up to and what you're going to be talking about at Stairway to the Stars. Well, I've been mostly busying myself being infamous. Um, I'm going to be talking about disclosure, uh, obviously. And we're going to have a panel on disclosure, an extraordinary panel. I encourage people to find that on the website. Danny Sheehan is going to be in it, uh, Richard Dolan, uh, uh, Corey. Carolyn Corey, a lot of very strong people. And that's going to be a big event. We're going to discuss this uh, and take your questions, lots of questions. But the sim simple truth is, is the UAP is a component of this huge mass uh, a conference that covers a whole range of areas and interesting areas. But the UAP is going to have its, its niche. Uh, and a big niche it will be because there are extraordinary developments taking place. Um, however, there's been a glitch in the matrix, uh, I was anticipating uh, a certain place we would be as the conference began, uh, but that is probably not going to happen now because we're about to have a catastrophe in the Middle East. What's being human without watching catastrophes take place every couple of years, right? I mean, it's just it's how we roll, it's what we do. And so it's going to delay uh, the process. I call the disclosure process that's underway. But nevertheless, we'll be talking about it and and hopefully there will be some movement between now and then and things won't get too awful in the next three weeks but the most important thing i can bring to your attention today is uh the current bill sitting on the senate site called 2226 s 2226 it's the most comprehensive uap bill yet uh it's called the uap disclosure act thank you I'll be happy to take a little credit for that. They didn't have to call it that. They could have called it any number of things, but they called it the UAP Disclosure Act, and that was their way of saying, we understand. We got you. We got you back. It's okay. We've been hearing you. So, And then the act itself, which is the section of the huge NDAA bill for 2024, is I, I, I converted it to a single space PDF document so I could highlight it and it's up on the web. You can find it. Search on uh, uh, SS 26, I mean 2226. Uh, it's, I've also sent it out is in my emails and, and uh, it's up on my uh, Twitter account and Facebook. It's 25 single space pages. It's huge. And when you convert it into the standard legal documents where every, every uh, uh, line has a number, it's 63 pages long. It is the fourth uh, tranche of legislation. If it passes uh, in toto, which I think it will in, in December, it is the last piece of the infrastructure. These four pieces of legislation, three already passed and, and operating since 20, late, uh, December 2020, and the one that's about to be passed have achieved everything they needed to do. It set up all of the infrastructure, the legal basis, the basis for transferring information out of the deep underground and, and secret facilities to the archives with, with due diligence and appropriate process, maintaining classification when necessary. It's setting up a nine person review committee at the White House. It, we already have set up a, a research group at the uh, at NASA. We have, of course, an entity called the uh, 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 unidentified anomalous do, uh, uh, domain resolution office um, and other structures. All of these things now, as of this bill, will be in place. They have everything that they needed to have. For what? Well, it's not so that they can now go out and find out what the phenomena is. They already know. They've known for decades, my friends. They've known since the 1940s. All of this in infrastructure and legal stuff had to be put in place before the president made the announcement confirming the ET presence. David Grush came forward and confirmed it, but he's not the president, so that doesn't count. But it sure has stirred up 
uh, the waters a little bit and it's created some interesting issues. But you see, the day or the, the Friday afternoon or evening that the president confirms the ET presence, the next day, every piece of this infrastructure, all of this legislation and all that it represents are going to be immediately put into place. Because in that moment, everybody in this world is going to want to know, what have you got? When can we see it? Right? And, and what's the history of this? And what did you do? And what did you know? And without all this legislation and infrastructure, if the president were to make the announcement, they would have to be doing all of this stuff in the chaos of a post-confirmation event. I mean, it would right. have been insanity. Yeah, uh, I, I mean, think... right now it's like the, I think it's the most pinnacle time in the disclosure movement. I wouldn't actually um, interrupt it with any distractions because this, what's already happened, I feel it's like, it's already in motion. So whatever distractions or reading between the line scenarios we have to digest and, you know, just dis decipher through the, the, the wheels are in motion. And this is the most attention that I think we've had in so long, because not only like I was talking this with Richard Dolan earlier that like right after our hearings, we had the Mexico hearings, you know, before the Mexico hearings and our hearings, we had all that interruption in Peru with some just weird, um, you know, ET presence stories, whether that was psyops yeah. or whatever. But it's just so much happening. And the actual UFO sightings, UAP sightings, yeah. in the last, you know, six months have been, I don't know, it's been pretty record-breaking. So I feel like now it's just really up to us. And well, that's kind of why getting together in this event and really – letting everyone know what we can be doing who we can be representing how we can be showing up because mm -hmm. like i said it's all in motion and i don't want to start any doomsday thing because some distraction because something's happening because that's always a thing it's even an election month you know but the wheels have never been in this type of motion i feel like we should just stay on point and try to do whatever we can with this this opportunity of getting all of the superstars in this community together to let everyone know what we can do and how we can show up. Don't you agree? Well, the, the 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 dialogue is shifting and needs to shift to the post disclosure world. We need to be talking about the post disclosure world, not endlessly going over. Uh, the granular uh, details of the end of the pre-disclosure world. Right now, we're sitting on the one-yard line. Uh, we just need to you know, run a play, get into the end zone, spike the football, collect the Super Bowl. Wow, well, that feels that feels like you know we're ready to do that. We're first down, one-yard line. Yep. Let's be at that place. <laughs> but even though we're on the one-yard line, for whatever reason, there's a lot of people that rather than really focusing on that and what they're going to do once the touchdown is made is that they want to go back and complain and argue about everything that happened prior to that, the rest of the game, starting at the kickoff, you know, they go back, well, what, why didn't this happen in the, you know, in the first quarter and who screwed up in the second quarter? And they're losing the fact that we're practically ready to win the damn game. And I, get right. that. I understand it's human nature. So, uh, we're we're going to spend a lot of time talking about the post disclosure world in 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 the presentations on the subject, and Hello. and we will address the status of the disclosure movement circa uh, to November ten, eleven, and twelve. Uh, I do believe we're going to see some progress. We have we have made steady progress on this issue for four years, in spite of all matter of chaos. Nothing can stop the disclosure process, short of a cataclysm like if the sun explodes or something so it, but the timing is still important particularly because of the election i know that yeah. the, the senate understands that particularly with grush coming forward and confirming we have bodies and technologies which has been reconfirmed in a number of ways including in the act that i just referred to uh, senate 2226 in that act unidentified anomalous phenomena is referred to 141 times <laughs> prior prior to the 2020 act 
UAP, UFO, or anything like that had never appeared in a single piece of legislation in the history of the country. And now mm. we have an act that's 141 times. And so what they, what they, I think they know is that the cat's out of the bag, the horse is out of the barn, bulls are already free and running down the streets of Paloma. And so consequently, <laughs> we have an election coming up and we have got to get this out of the way before those campaigns begin. Because Grush has already put it up there. It's out. And and unless we get this thing resolved, all of the candidates are going to be bumbling and fumbling and, and basically looking incredibly stupid as they try to answer questions either they can't answer or if they can answer, they won't be able to answer. It's going to be a disaster. So Warner still has time in spite of whatever happens in this next couple of weeks to call the hearing witnesses. They already know who they are sit them down in front of the Senate Intel Committee for a couple of days, maybe four or five days, get some testimony that will set the world on fire, and then Biden can confirm the ET presence and we can move on with civilization. That is what is coming. That's what I'm going to be talking about uh, and many of my colleagues will be talking about at the stairway in the two stars. At Astro. Uh, <laughs> so amazing. Yeah, very exciting. You know, it's just it's so happy that you're part of this event. Um, you know, you've been a pioneer in this this movement for so long. So honored to have you uh, be here. I know that you have your your boots on the ground over there in D.C. and you're gonna just be able to bring us as so much information and prepare. You know, like prepare the world for this uh, for this next play into the touchdown mode. So did you know Disclosure Fest and Fade to Black? We put together such an amazing event with this amazing building and hotel behind me i've been here all week doing production planning there's so much in store for you with three full days nine conference rooms uh, a, a nightclub a private you know chartered bus excursion to area 51 for um an intimate 200 person sky watch um <laughs> you might i think you might be joining us on that i know jimmy's gonna come back from Egypt and, and pick, you know, three other speakers to be the speakers in those buses. Cause there's four oh, buses. <laughs> when we get there, there's going to be an array of 85 inch screens connected to third generation military night vision, telescopic um, angles to the sky. We can't laser point cause we're in area 51 airspace. So um, we're just going to have a control room in the desert, like never seen before. So don't miss the area 51. And well, obviously it's November, so it's also meteor shower month. So alleged meteor showers, um, but we'll call them whatever we call them. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, be here November 10, 11, and 12. Get your rooms because um, our, our, our room block expires October 15th at midnight. Um, that, yeah, and you know, we already booked over a thousand rooms and just keep, just keep, Keep booking until they're all gone. So uh, again, Stephen, thank you for joining us. Give us a little salute, and um, I'll see you at Stairways. Well, first of all, I, I did. I hope you cleared all that Area Fifty One stuff you're setting up with the Air Force. Uh, I hope you got some uh, some approval on that or whatever. Uh, look, I, hey, at Astra, folks, uh, a new world is coming. This is a perfect event to celebrate that that happening uh adrian is uh amazing at putting these major major things together and the fact that his organization is called disclosure fest is actually a coincidence but really mm -hmm. a synchronicity so until mm -hmm. i until november take care and we'll see you on the stairway to the stars so true Just, uh stairway to the stars.com get your tickets thanks everybody thanks steven see you in a month bye